Hi, this is Firestarter and this is a review of the DX Wizard Dragon and the Machine Winger. This is part of the WAP or WAP series. So the only accessory that this is inclusive with is this Dragon Rise ring. So let's go and hop into it to hear the sound effects. So that's it. Now let's hop into the rest of the review. The set comes with a Dragon Rise ring to summon Wizard Dragon and this is the only accessory it comes with. So let's go through the nitty gritty of the DX Machine Winger first. It is difficult to find great things to say about this bike at first because on how it escapes show accuracy. The fork, the body, and the wheels are thick but all because it serves to transform and attach to the Wizard Dragon. Although the wheels turn on its axle, there is what it looks like a pair of training wheels basically for the strike phase mode. Its main attraction is the wizard dragon. The dragon is too huge for the box that's why its tail is detached from the package. Harto's Phantom has interesting scaled golden neck and red gem ornamented on its chest, forehead, and eyes. Wings fold and retract and the legs go back and forth. Only the front legs have this side-to-side -side swivel. The first formation is called the Winger Wizard Dragon. The focus is on the Machine Winger unlocking the pegs to showcase the wizard red translucent design and acts as a second wing for the dragon. Then the Machine Winger snaps on and secures itself at the back. In this form, the wingspan is now longer and adds to the grace of the combination, while the WAP Kamen Rider Wizard Flame Style sits comfortably using the throttle as handlebars for the figure. So this is the first formation and then let's face uh, the WAP or WAP um, Kamen Rider Wizard Flame Style at the back. So it sits like a regular bike. Um, you can fold the legs like so to make this one more comfortable and then you can even hold the throttles like these and it's not an awkward pose at all actually this is a really nice combination when you put um the Kamen Rider Wizard Flame style on top so there are still no changes when it comes to the possibility of the dragon you can still flap the wings from the wizard winger and also down here you can fold go back and forth and if you place this one up and you can also flap the default wings on the dragon so there are no changes whatsoever or there's no significant difference it's just that we have the machine winger on top of the dragon and for me it really looks great with the designs and all and now the second part this strike phase with the dragon's leg wing tail and neck clamps back on a fetus position and something familiar to the G1 Transformers. Wizard Dragon becomes a giant armored foot and the final touch is to attach the machine winger for a stronger strike end. And now this is the strike phase mode. Um, it should be standing up as you, can, you have seen on the show but because of the wheels, the training wheels on the machine winger and on the dragon form, um, you have to tilt this one on on its back so the wheels have a purpose in doing the slide and all and then the last thing you have to do is place this flame wizard here place the other foot because it has a hole at the bottom on this peg here like so and then the other leg inside there let me just give you a closer look on what it looks like inside and light it there's a feet rest over there just place the figure if you can just like so to be honest it doesn't really feel secure and it needs a lot of balancing and what have you just to keep this one in line so this is what it looks like when lying down on its back you can see all the gems from this side from the head, the feet, the chest, and from the tail down here. While uh, the rest looks the same in this formation. And I, like I mentioned, it needs to roll like this in order for you to do the whole exper experience of doing the strike phase. You can't do this with the SH figures just because it doesn't have a slot for on the 
foot over here just like the WAP version. The verdict, the duo looks great and serves as a main purpose and the effect of this figure for the Watt line. Both the SH Figure Arts and the AAP Kamen Rider Wizard Flame Style looks great as a pair with the Dragon quite nicely and affordable to all things considered. If only the Wizard Dragon has like some light and sounds gimmick, this set could have been an easy takeaway. It just comes short from the Power Dizer. And that is my review of the DX Wizard Dragon and the Machine Winger. If you want to know the details for this figure, check out the photos at the end of the video and check out the links below on the description page for the written review. This is Farstarter, thank you very much for watching and see you on my next review.